Hey guys, it's Tara with Reiki on the Run, and I am in the Bahamas right now, but I wanted to get a video out. Um, I want to talk about depression and anxiety today, and uh, what it is, and what you can do about it. So depression, and before I get started, I just want to say I've, I come to you with experience in this. I've, I've been in the depths of depression, I've had plenty of anxiety, I've been on every pill imaginable. I've been drugged since I was about 10 years old, and I've been off of all medications for several years. Um, so I don't, I don't want to seem to be coming to you without knowing what I'm talking about. I've been there. Um, so depression is generally being stuck in the past, um, thinking about the past often, um, feeling bad. There's usually uh, guilt or shame involved, or um, things like that, just always staying stuck in the past, thinking about the past, feeling bad about the past. Um, and this can be, I just want to say to you, this can be because of things that have occurred to you. Um, you know, maybe you had a, I had, I had a pretty shitty childhood, a lot of us did. Um, could have had a, a bad marriage, things, you know, things could have just happened to you and, and uh, that can cause depression. And it can also be that you've done things, you know, I've been the victim, but I've also been the, the victimizer, you know, I've been an asshole to my kids, I've been an asshole to other people, so a lot of times that can keep us um, in depression too, in, in that guilt and shame and feeling bad for things that we've done, either things that have occurred to us or things that we've done, and uh, it doesn't matter, it's equally as horrible to be stuck in um, bouts of depression. Um, and then anxiety is same thing, only concerning yourself with the future. You know, um, I heard somebody say once, it made a lot of sense, he's like, you pick the worst possible thing you could imagine happening in the future and focusing on that. And that's what anxiety is. Anxiety is concerning yourself with things that might happen, might go wrong, um, you know, and it, 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 neither are valid. Neither are valid. Um, you can't worry constantly about things that don't exist and there's absolutely no sense in wallowing in past behaviors whether it's something that's done to you or that you have done to others and that's because we have this this um, dominant vibration so I've talked about it before where you know the law of attraction like tracks like and you um, create situations in your life based on the the vibration that you emit. So if I'm constantly in sadness over things that have happened in the past, I'm going to continually create um, shitty experiences because of that's the low vibration that I'm putting out. And same with the anxiety. If I'm constantly in fear and worried about things that might happen that aren't even real that might happen, Again, I'm emitting that vibration and that's what's going to come back to me. So, uh, how I've been able to get out of depression and anxiety, and I say it all the time, and that's because it's really the only way to live is through mindful living. To be present, to live in the now, what's happening now. If you will just focus on what is going on now, you're not hurting anyone, no one's hurting you, you're safe, your bills are paid, um, you, you have shelter, you're okay. Um, just focusing on what's going on right now is going to take that anxiety away and it's going to take that depression away. Now, it takes a while because, like I said, you have that dominant vibration and it's kind of like your go-to. It's comfortable. You're used to being there and so you'll continue to, to fall back on it. But just being aware, being aware if you start getting anxious, if you start feeling depressed, just to go, okay, I'm not living in the present, I'm worried about something in the future that doesn't exist, or I'm, I'm going over things in the past that have happened, there's nothing I can do about them now, and justified or not, whether you're justified in feeling bad if someone's done something to you, even if it's not you, still, you can't stay in that, you can't stay in that. So, getting back to now, focusing on now, is gonna help tremendously, tremendously. You can find things that you are grateful for, uh, appreciative of in this moment. You will be able to pull yourself out of that and just practice, practice, practice. Like I said, you have that dominant vibration that that 
you tend to stay at and that keeps you there but you've got to find ways to raise it and when you raise it your life will get better better things will start being attracted to you so just don't don't be hard on yourself when you notice if you are feeling bad or anxious just come back to now come back to now just say what, what's happening right now I'm fine get out of that funk and things will get better <laughs> I, I, I wish I could um, I wish I could bottle that you know I wish I could I could give it to you in a pill but unfortunately the pills aren't where it's at the pills can't take all that away they can numb you they can block <laughs> block things but it cannot it cannot cure you of that and the only way to do that to get out of that constant anxiety and that depression is to come back to now to what's going on now so I hope this helps uh, I hope that you don't have to experience any depression or anxiety much longer uh, it was a, a miserable lifetime for me uh, when I was going through it and I can't tell you how wonderful I mean look around where I am um, very happy very very much in the in the present in the now and no more anxiety no more depression and so hopefully this helps and I will see you soon back in Florida. <laughs> Bye.